Hello. The topic today is solving trigonometric equations. We are looking at solution using the unit circle. The question is solve for x in the equation. So we have cosine of 2x minus 10 is equal to negative root 3 over 2 for the values of x ranging between 0 and 360 degrees. So the first thing we are going to determine the range for this angle here, 2x minus 10. So using the range of x 0 to 360, we can say 2x minus 10 ranges between, for this end, we will substitute 0 in this expression, and that will give us negative 10. And then it should go all the way up to, the next one we substitute 360, so 360 substituted here, that is 2 times 360, 720, 720 minus 10, that is 710. So this should help us in listing, so that we don't go beyond the limits. And then we can now go back to the equation. Now the first step here is to get the acute angle corresponding to 2x minus 10. So 2x minus 10 should be equal to the cosine inverse of the absolute value of this. So we are going to ignore the negative sign for now. And therefore we are going to get the cosine inverse of root 3 over 2. And this should be 30 degrees. So we have 2x minus 10 is equal to 30 degrees. Now this is not yet the solution. We had ignored the negative sign here. So that sign we are going to interpret on the unit circle. So we have A for all. All trigonometric ratios in this quadrant are positive. And then here we have S for sine. Only sine is positive, while tangent and cosine are positive here, or that are negative, sorry. And then here T, only tangent is positive, while cosine and sine are negative. And then here, only cosine is positive, while sine and tangent are negative. Now, the equations that should help us with our calculations, so in this quadrant, we have the values of theta, theta to represent an angle, the values of theta ranging between 270 and 360. And we can use this equation to determine. So we have 360 minus an acute angle x. And this acute angle x represents the acute angle that we calculate in this first step. So that should give us the angle theta in this quadrant. Now here, theta is obtained as 180 plus the acute angle. Here, theta is 180 minus the acute angle. And here, theta is an acute angle. And therefore, we just say theta is equal to x. So, from here, we can therefore come back to this original equation. Remember, cosine was a negative number. That is negative root 3 over 2. And because it's a negative, we can identify which quadrant to use. So where do we have cosine being negative? And that is second quadrant and the third quadrant. And therefore, we can do the listing. We have 2x minus 10 is equal to 180, that is from this quadrant, 180 minus the acute angle, and that is 180 minus 30. The next one we obtain from the next quadrant, 180 plus acute angle, that is 180 plus 30. So we have 2x minus 10 equals 2. So here we have 150, and this is 210. Now, remember the range that we are given. We are told that the values of 2x minus 10 should be ranging between negative 10 and 710. So we can still continue the listing. Now we can have the next value in the list as 150 plus 360, that should give us 
510. Remember, we are adding 360 because for these two values here, we obtain them in the first revolution. If you go all around from the starting point here, 0 degrees, you go all around back to the same point, 360. And then the next values we obtain by going the second round. And in order to reflect that, we will add 360 to these values. So the next revolution will have 360 plus 150, that is 510. And again, 360 plus 210, that is 570. If we move to the third revolution, the values that we'll get will be past 710. So we are going to stop. Well, with these, we can equate them in turns to 2x minus 10. So if we equate 2x minus 10 to 150 and solve for x, the value of x will become, so negative 10 comes here so that we have 160, 160 divided by 2, that is 80. For the next one, we equate to 210, so we have 220, 220 divided by 2, that is 110. Next one, cross here so that you have 520, 520 divided by 2, that is 260. And lastly, we have 580, 580 divided by 2, we have 290. So these are the values of x, the values of x as required in the equation. Remember, we were to maintain the values of x in the range 0 up to 360. So that is the step-by-step -step procedure for solving such problems. I want to thank you for staying with me till this end. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.